Okay, so as you know, I am very passionate about constantly developing yourself throughout your life, constantly growing and constantly becoming better in many different areas of your life. Now, how do I do this? Of course, the most crucial factor is that you are constantly having people around you, literally or uh, through resources that you can learn from. You have to have this kind of mentorship constantly surrounding you. Now, I see a lot of people who are very, very picky about who they learn from. Uh, they might read a book and after a couple of pages they decide that they don't really like the attitude of the author or they don't like the way he writes or she writes. Or they might listen to some podcasts and they're like, ah, I'm not really interested in what that guy's talking about and uh, he pretends to be something he's not uh, and whatnot. So I'm not going to listen to him anymore. Or they might watch YouTube videos and they're like, ah, this guy is too cocky and this guy is too serious. And again, he doesn't really, I don't really feel like he knows what he's talking about. And, you know, the, the production uh, isn't perfect. So I, I'm not going to listen to that one either. Now, I feel like this is a horrible way to approach learning. The way I see it, Everyone can learn something from anyone. Every single pe person you meet, every book you read, every video you watch, every podcast you listen to can teach you something. And it is up to you to find out what that thing is that you can learn from someone. So the way I approach it is that I always look for that one thing and it might only be one thing that I can learn from somebody but I know that it is there and if I haven't found it yet I just have to look more closely. So for example I'm reading a lot of books so this is what is on my shelf right now. There you go and some of these books are kind of hard to read you know I, I might not disagree with everything in them. Uh, I might not personally like the author. Uh, for example, I got the biography of Arnold Schwarzenegger here, as you can see there. Now, does that mean that I'm a huge Arnold Schwarzenegger fan? Actually, no. I think his attitude is sometimes really weird. I think bodybuilding uh, is something really weird to be doing with your time. And I'm personally not interested in that at all. I don't want to be the biggest, toughest, most muscular guy. But do I think that there is something that I could learn from Arnold Schwarzenegger when I read his 600 or whatnot page biography? Definitely. Of course, there are so many things that I can learn from that guy. He is wildly successful and he's very accomplished in every area that he chose to engage himself in. So, of course, there are plenty of things that I can learn from that particular person. And the same holds true for all these guys. I might not disagree with every point that they are trying to make. I mean, Paulo Coelho, very, very uh, spiritual, uh, almost esoteric, which is certainly not what I'm into. Peter Thiel, Mm, not uh, my cup of tea either. But of course, there are so many things that I can learn from these guys. The Black Swan, amazing book, but kind of hard to read. And uh, compared to, let's say, Malcolm Gladwell, um, you really have to struggle to get through that book compared to Malcolm Gladwell's book. But of course, all these books have a great deal of value. And the same holds true for, let's say, YouTube videos or podcasts. They might all be polarizing and you might not agree with every point that these people are making. But they certainly have some value to offer. They certainly have made experiences that you don't yet have. So 
it is crucial that you get over yourself and that you just embrace learning from these people. And, you know, you, uh, you're a human being. You can think for yourself. You can listen to everything these people have to say and then judge for yourself. What of these lessons are really applicable to my life? What lessons really have value for myself? And what lessons can I just choose to ignore? Be that kind of critical thinker. Don't be the kind of person who has to either agree with everything a person says and teaches or neglects that person altogether. Don't be that kind of black and white thinking person. Instead, be somebody who reflects on everything that they are learning, everything that they are taught, and then chooses what kind of lessons you let into your life. Keep that in mind and as always, talk to you next time.